welcome all of you in our mathematics class of 11th dear students just now you have jumped from class 10th or you can say you have jumped from stage 1 that was stage 1 of your study period okay and now you have jumped to stage 2 now what you will see during whole of the class 11th and 12th what you will see what you will feel whatever you have done in class 10th here we are just few steps ahead of that part that is necessary is it clear 10th class is also necessary up to 10th basic mathematics is also necessary that so then only we can move for the next part now in class 11 we will be having you can say some theoretical type of concepts some very interesting concepts some totally new concepts for you totally new and mind it remember one thing hard work and labor is must for getting a very good understanding in mathematics is it clear second thing the students who thinks that he is a little bit weak in mathematics he is scoring just 70 now in this class he can talk he can go above 95 and the student who is getting above 90 if he pretends to be a careless he can shift to 70 is it clear because why because many 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 new things will be for you okay so now the first chapter we are going to do that is sets a very simple topic written on it but a vast combination for the concept many things in this chapter you have already done it in junior classes you have done gone through it but we will be just going in some vast panel is it clear so in this chapter first of all i will just be giving you introduction for the sets and after that we will be doing sets and their representations. We will be going few definitions, few examples of different types of sets. For example, I have written here empty sets, finite and infinite sets, equal and equivalent sets. Like this, we will be having many different types of sets. Okay. According to your syllabus, we will be just going according to your syllabus. Then a very important concept is about the intervals. Okay. And when you are going to watch it what we are doing you will love to remember all these things you will think that what we have done up to class 10 and how nicely how interestingly the things are going in class 11 okay then we are having subsets in the subsets i have not mentioned here things in the subsets what we are going to do we are just going for comparable of sets means we are just comparing two sets what is the result when we are comparing the two sets under the topic subsets okay then we are having proper subsets power sets universal set universal set is a vast set okay many 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 things rest of the things we are going with the universal set okay then we are having a very nice concept that is about the Venn diagram Euler's a mathematician Venn diagram he just gave different types of things in the presentation form of the Venn's diagram that was called the Venn diagram okay so a very interesting concept then operations on sets now different operations on sets two very simple operations we have done it and we are just going to repeat them in a systematic way number one union of sets you are just aware of it and i am going to discuss once again union of sets then properties of operations on unions then intersection of sets properties of operations on the intersections okay few properties we are going to discuss okay then difference of sets and when we are doing all these operations including the lowest one also we will be just using Venn diagrams also just to make it better adjustment better understanding is it okay and during this we are going with some mathematician laws or de Morgan's law like this okay then we are having properties on operations of set the properties of operation on sets I already told you that was what properties on the uh, operations for union of sets for intersection complement of a set and then properties on the operation of the complements of a set i have written in the single form complements of sets and its properties and the last is practical problems on sets is it clear practical problems means it can be a from day to day life okay it can be some in the other forms you can in 
place of practical you can just uh, put another word that is application okay but for your syllabus for your class practical of the problems on the sets is a very nice word okay so all these things we are going to do it in our chapter and the name of the chapter is what sets